big thing for me when helping people and when talking to you guys is helping you to see that you are the creator of your life from this moment forward. I would hope for and wish for each of you to have the experience and to begin to gain the positivity in your life and the joy in your life that you need to move forward in a positive way for yourself and to be able to take control and to be able to freely live your life outside of this toxic junk that has been put all over you from toxic people in your life, whether it be from the day you were born or later in life and forever, however long it happened to you. And remember the details fall by the wayside sometimes about how to do this. Just allow yourself to try something new and by allowing yourself to try something new, like say this practice, you are setting an intention of changing your life, of changing things for the better. And if it's not working for you, you know what? You don't have to do it again. It's okay. That's what I mean by the details don't matter. If the details of this don't work for you, then do something else and keep moving toward things that bring you out of survivor mindset into a feeling of curiosity, happiness, joy, expansion, and feelings of awakening in your life versus that heavy wet blanket of toxic and the heavy darkness of other people's crap that they have put on you in your life. So one thing is creating intention for your life. So let's talk about what that is. Intention versus goals. Goals are doing, they're a task list. Okay, intention is the inner reason for why you're doing it. It is the deeper feeling of resolve. You know, it is your, your sense of self moving through and choosing to do things. It's your intent. Now, how you believe and feel will affect everything. How you believe and feel about yourself will affect everything. And that is why it is so important to continue with your healing from narcissism because all of the programming and all of the influence that you've had, all of the impressions that were made upon you and all of the neural pathways that were created in your brain because of it start to affect the whole of your life for the whole of your life. If you do not, most of the time, I mean, I would say some people get lucky and boom, they're out of it. But for most of us, it is a continual effort to move toward our intention and to create the life we want versus expecting life to just get better on its own. And part of that is in changing the way we experience and changing the way we see things, changing our perceptions, changing our perspectives based on our impressions, not on the impressions that were given to us and put upon us by toxic people. How do you get there if you've always had that? So how do you even know what your impressions are, what your perspective is, your perspective, your authentic you-ness coming through and having an opinion, having a perspective, having a viewpoint? If you've always been told what to think and what to believe and that you're wrong and all of that, it takes effort and it takes time. It's about being present to your own life and present to your own experience and getting to know who you really are so that you can filter things through that instead of through what you're told you are having a life where you act from intention rather than just a task list can help you stay true to your priorities stay true to yourself stay true to doing things from a place of deeper feeling and meaningfulness versus just going through life and staying in survivor mode. It also helps you even your emotions out because you're aligning with what you want for life and what, and, and you're trying to align with this intention. And if you can stick with it, it helps you propel forward instead of falling back into the emotions that are saying, yeah, but this, this can't work and here's why. It basically gives you drive and motivation to move forward when you live life with more intention. So how do you get there? What do you do? So again, this is something that can often be best worked through with someone. So if you need help or coaching, please seek it somewhere. Okay. If it's not from me, from someone else, it is a great place to use something like coaching or group coaching, because we can see where you're telling yourself stories in your head 
that don't serve your life and help you by asking the right questions to you to help you move toward what you want for yourself. I am Lise Colucci, and if you need anything, check out the information in the main description of every video. You can reach me there and all of that. If you need coaching or group coaching, info's there. Peer support, info's there. So if you're trying to do this on your own, that's cool too. So here's some tips. Mindfulness practices. Get where you are good at them. Get where you even know what that means, what it feels like in your body, and how to take yourself from spinning your wheels in your head into a more grounded and mindful state, even if it's only for short periods of time during the day. You can, while you're doing a mindfulness practice, like say you do a meditation where you just focus on your breathing and you calm and you get present to the present moment. You can then set an intention. You can say, I have an, whatever that intention is, it could be to be present, to myself and not let other people's opinions pull me outside myself. Or you could set an intention just to have a peaceful day. Okay. And so that doesn't mean it's going to stay peaceful. It's not magic, right? What it is, is it's a place to come back to so that throughout your day when it gets chaotic and if you've been practicing mindfulness practices you can come back into that space even if it's only for a second and remember the intention that you set that morning to have a peaceful space and have a peaceful day and then for a few minutes you might actually achieve that okay or you might remember it in chaos and that might bring you back to remembering you need to do another meditation or another mindfulness practice to help yourself calm and ground and be more present and then things become more peaceful. So see, it is, um, these are tools to help you get out of the survivor frantic mindset of clinging to life into a more positive, creative mindset of building the life you want to live. Okay. The other thing is when we act in life and when we're speaking in life, you know what I mean by intention when, when I'm telling you like, if you're talking to somebody else and you're trying to get your point across and your intention is to help them or to be kind to them or to offer some wisdom or offer some understanding or offer support, whatever it is to that other person, that's the feeling of intention. So we have to start directing that toward ourselves as well, toward our own life. So the feeling that you have when you talk to someone, when you're trying to help them say, or you're trying to just be a friend to them and they're talking and you're sitting there listening and you're like, gosh, I just really want what's best for them or I feel for them or that feeling of empathy and connection is what we're trying to feel back toward ourselves as well so that we're filling our own cup, right? And we're creating our own life, which will then bring more of that positivity to your life. Recognize your intentions, meaning the deeper inner drive and desire that you have for things as you move through life. Don't just go through life on automatic pilot, right? Recognize that you have an intention inside of yourself. You have a deeper, meaningful, place inside of yourself for most of the things that you're doing and recognize that so that you can put word to it or at least recognize the sensation in your body it gives you a deeper sense of yourself and it it if it isn't right for you like when you're not feeling that it'll have a different sensation in your body and then you can come back to it so that your life is moving forward instead of you know running around on the hamster wheel trying to figure out how to get unstuck so sometimes when you're doing things, you got to let go of the outcome. When you're doing things in life that you don't know what the outcome will be, especially get curious about the process that can help you stay in what I'm calling the intention or the deeper place in yourself that allows you to move towards something positive for your life. And the curiosity can help the drive to get there. I will see you guys next time. Hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Bye-bye.